So Lindsey Graham says to me, please, please, whatever you can do. You know what I'm saying? I said, what's this guy, a beggar? He's like begging me to help him with Fox and Friends. And he gave me his number, and I found the card. 202-228. So, I don't know, give it a shot. Welcome back to The Daily Wrap. It's time for yay or nay. That, of course, was Donald Trump sharing Senator Lindsey Graham's personal cell phone number Tuesday while speaking at a rally in South Carolina. And so far, the senator has taken it all in stride. Oh, we don't have it? Okay. Oh, I thought we had that phone. Okay. Even joking on Twitter that he was looking to get a new cell phone, the senator even put out an instructional video for how to get rid of old cell phones. Did Lindsey Graham just out-Trump the man who still thinks he's captain of the high school basketball team, <laughs> Donald Trump? Yay or nay, Heather? I know for sure he's getting a lot more attention because of all of this, and he handled it very well. He took the best, made lemonade out of lemons. Paul? Oh, it's fantastic. Great political theater. It is good. It it's is great good. stuff. He laughed at the troll instead of fed the troll. He did. I thought yep. it was it was absolutely brilliant. All right, moving on. Newly announced GOP hopeful John Kasich likes to present himself an, as an experienced politician politician with a lot of common sense, but he's still a pretty unconventional candidate. Case in point, Kasich's campaign to have the movie Fargo removed from his local blockbuster store. Apparently, the governor watched the movie in the late 90s and was disturbed, as he should have been, by the infamous wood chipper scene, so much so that he called Blockbuster and demanded that they take the movie off their shelves. Does this prove that the governor will fight to the end for the American people, or does it prove that he sticks his nose in places where maybe it doesn't belong, Heather Hansen. I think the story is that it was on like a general shelf and right. it wasn't in rated R, and so he had a problem with that. So that's I think that he was right to do that. Okay. Shouldn't be in a general Quickly, shelf. Paul. Uh, more of a free market guy, so no. No. It right. should be labeled as pretty disturbing stuff. Yep. Yeah, <laughs> but a great movie. But a very funny a movie. great movie. Host of The Daily Show, Jon Stewart, has not shied away from sharing how he feels about Donald Trump running for president. Just take a look at how he reacted the day The Donald announced. Ladies and gentlemen, my father, Donald J. Trump. I'm just really happy right now. <laughs> a billionaire vanity candidate taking the escalator to the White House. Hey, only losers walk. <laughs> Presidents take Stair Force One. <laughs> Thank you, Donald. Thank you, Donald Trump, for making my last six weeks. My best six weeks. No! He is putting me in some kind of comedy hospice. <laughs> 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 All right, quickly, because we're just about out of time. Should Donald Trump be Jon Stewart's last guest, yay or nay? Absolutely. Got to be. Yes, yes, yes. We voted for it. It's got to happen. All right, guys, I'm Rick Unger. On behalf of Heather Hansen and the rest of the panel, we thank you for joining us tonight. We hope you'll be back with us tomorrow night. You'll be here, right? I will be here. And we'll have more fun for you. In the meantime, make sure you stay tuned for the Steve Malzberg Show that follows right after us right here on Newsmax TV. So be sure... And stay tuned. Good night.